Hello, Scorpio. It's Melady from Melady's Way Tarot, and I'm going to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising sign. And let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio love reading. October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Scorpio love reading October 2nd through 9th, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Alright, so somebody's pissed. Alright, what's going on? You know, Alright, so we're dealing with somebody who, um... I don't know if you look down at them or they look down at you, but it's because of class differences. Um, so religion, race, well, so just some kind of social difference is going on here. All right. Oh. So it seems like somebody might be um care about somebody a lot that um is uh. Just in a different social class than them. Okay. Yeah, but it seems like this person is not looking at it like that. And that's how it should be. That's right. Okay, so, I mean, just judging by the other cards, it seems like this... Um, Okay, I keep hearing they making a big deal out of it. But it seemed like it's a give and take relationship. I feel like this person really cares about you or you really care about them. I think it's a whole lot of care in this situation. But I think it's a whole lot of negative energy on the outside trying to come in. All right, yeah. I feel like that's what this is. That's all I see is this energy. I feel like the energy is a baggage. You guys, um... Mm, yeah, I feel like you guys could possibly have kids together. Okay, so it seems like uh, seems like um, one of you guys, maybe your partner. I'm gonna just say this is your reading. Your partner may want you to make some kind of sacrifice, but I feel like you're not gonna make this sacrifice, or um. Yeah, I feel like sacrifice is not being made. What is this sacrifice about for the Scorpio? What is this sacrifice about for the Scorpio? Mm. Okay, so it seems like somebody wants somebody to sacrifice something. Wow. I'm I'm sort of feeling like somebody wants somebody to sacrifice their religion. Somebody wants their partner to convert. Mm. Okay. So <laughs> it's seeming like somebody wants somebody to convert, like so that they can have more wives or more husbands. Oh, I, I wish it was. No, I'm not going to say that. But it seems like somebody wants somebody to convert to their religion so that um it'd be okay for them to have more than one wife so it seems like somebody wants you to come over or you want somebody to come over all right so it seems like this person um wow i keep hearing you got more money than them but this is not what the car is saying so i'm gonna just go with that but this card is saying that this less to make less money but i keep hearing and i it's crazy i went in some kind of trance like you make more money than them you know but i feel like you really love this person so you're willing to make this change okay 
Jesus. All right, so this could be a new relationship where you could possibly be pregnant by um, this person that's trying to get you to marry them and they got wives already. All right, so Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on with the Scorpio love reading for the October 2nd through 9th, 2017? October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Scorpio love reading, October 2nd. To the 9th, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Mm, yeah, I feel a lot of love here, though. Mm. All right, so it's looking good. Mm, so, yeah, you just don't like it. It's, it's a good thing for you, but you don't like the fact that, you know, they can have other partners. That's not cool, so... Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's going to be a big tr transformation. This is a life lesson, too. You got three major arcanas. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's going to be a, a change for you, but I feel like it's all for the better, okay? All right, so we got the star card. Star, star, star. Where is that star card? All right, it's upright. It says, a great time for hope of future reflection on achievement. A time to look at your life with great hope for the future. Good things are on their way. A wonderful card. So I would say if you love this person, you know them, you know they got wives. I mean, if this person treats you right, whatever. All right. Okay, 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 okay. But some of you I know are stingy. I understand. All right, so the judgment, justice card is injustice spell agreement. So it seems like you guys may have said that something else was supposed to go on. Maybe they were supposed to leave them, but no, this person wanted to bring you in. But it's just like you, you just don't feel right about the situation. It's just not what you know. You know, it's not what you used to. All right, so we got the death card. Okay. And it's upright. It says, dramatic change, the end of a current situation and death. Life begins again, the beginning of a new situation. So it's like you're going to have a renew new life after this. You know, you got some hope. You know, it's, it's I don't see no negative coming out of this. You know, you got love. You know, you got a couple of extra people. But that's not bad all the time. You know, that's somebody to talk to. All right. So we got the Knight of Swords, and it says, A lack of strategy, confidence, and self-imposed false sense of security. So, um, you don't feel like you can compete with the other people, you know. Um, of course, this could mess with your confidence. You're like, why? Why can't you just have me, you know? But that goes back to this situation where, you know, it's just a different religion than yours. You don't... You know, you don't, I mean, they, he can pry or they can love you all the same, but it's just, you know, it's nothing to mess with your confidence or anything. It's just a different way of living, you know? All right, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.